this is an anthotype being made using sunlight. There are three different images on this anthotype. One of them is a printed photograph. One of them is a film strip from the movie Tenant. And then one of them is a 4x5 reversal slide image that I shot with my dad on Route 66. These have been out here for about a month in this contact printing frame. And we are now going to bring it inside and, ex and look at the exposures which are finished. Okay. The first one we're going to look at is this. This is an image of a 70 millimeter strip of film that I was given as a promotional object at the tenant rescreening that came out about a month ago. This is that photograph. This is that image of myself and my dad. And so now we're going to open up the back of this contact printing frame and take a look at what's in here. Here, I'll do it this way. Okay. So the contact printing frame allows me to either open one side or the other. In this case, I'm just going to open both. There we go. So the first one we're going to remove is the one that had the tenant film strip on it. I'm going to try to keep them lined up still. Okay. Let's flip this over. And now see, this is what the paper originally looked like before sun exposure. I put this paper underneath another piece that was overlapping it. So this is what the paper originally looked like. These are blueberries, as a, the anthotype was made with blueberry. This was bougainvillea. So now, let's look at the tenant film strip. I should remove this, and we should see basically an identical version right next to it. So I'm going to move this. Yeah. It's not identical in that... It's not in color, but this is an anthotype of a film strip. So you basically get a slide image, slide film, on the, all this. And it's still got the kind of mottling of the original. So that's pretty unique. Let's look at it a little closer. Okay. So that one's that. Put that down. The other one is myself and my mom is a photo of both of us. I don't know how this one's going to turn out because it was just a regular print, like a photograph on a printer practically. So let's see. Not much there. Should have been something. I can almost see it if I force myself to see it. Like, sure. But no, I don't think I see it. I think this might have needed a long time or different material to print it. But you can see the original color of this paper was blue. Here's the last one. I imagine this one's going to turn out fairly good because it was a, originally a 4x5 slide image, which is already beautifully suited for anthotype because it makes copies of slide images perfectly. So let's see. here. All right. A lot longer of an exposure was needed for that one. Probably another month. Maybe two. I might have needed to give this three months. Who knows? But the important thing is you just got to see what an anthotype can be. There are many different types. And the ones we just showed are the basically the ways it can look. In addition to every other type you can make. I think this one turned out the best.